And it freaking works. R04. Let's freeze it again. Let's freeze it again. But uh, you just get the idea. So 49, 49, or 4990. But I mean, I'm telling you that this thing's like, this thing's super cold right now to the touch. Let's set the width to zero to 30 or something uh, just to be able to see it. So now let's try it out. Try out zero to 30. There you go. There you go. It's just glitching like crazy across screen. All that stuff can play a role on uh, how susceptible this is to glitching. I mean, it's it always works eventually, guys. And there we have it. There we have it. I'm happy with that. Uh, so we got it. We have JTAG. We got JTAG. We got JTAG. And it's full debug, uh, as I said before. So that one, that one worked as expected. But I mean, it is it's as good as it gets, guys. As good as it gets. All right. So we have it running. Uh, so there's the blue LED going. Uh, I just want to check the voltages on these really quickly. So it should be. And there's our 1.12. So that's good. This one's the 3.3. On this one, this is the zero. There we go. We got to heat it up and move that off. All right, that's good. All right, I, I can already see it's changing color, so it looks like it's hardening. So now I'm going to measure at the other end of uh, the wire that we just soldered. And what do I get? I get 1.14. So the connection's good, uh, so we're good to go. Slowly increase the voltage, so we'll see the power supply cut out. And also, if I go a little bit higher, like 1.25, 1.27, I get a perfect power supply barely turns on etc etc and there we go i mean it worked again so we're i mean that was that was perfect dump image uh sram bin ox uh 200 and then we'll read a, a thousand hex bytes so is there going to be anything interesting in uh the sram i mean there's so there's no data at the end of it but there absolutely is data oh look at this uh otp memory this is pretty epic that it's there